How much does university maths relate to secondary teaching? There is a sense in which the answer is not at all. Which I feel like some, the person who asked that question is like, yes, I knew it, right? But there's also a sense in which, um, no, no, actually it's, it's very relevant and I'll try and answer both of those, okay? So I remember um, I studied partial differential equations and waves in fourth year and I have never once gone back to my notes or my textbook or like the assessment tasks I did on that to say, like, oh, this is relevant to this lesson that I'm teaching, right? Because quite obviously it's undergraduate level maths, so it's beyond the scope of what my students would ever encounter. Not only is it beyond the scope, it's also, um, it's kind of not a question my students would ever naturally encounter as they sort of move past, which is quite different to say, you know when you're doing, you guys have done units on linear algebra, right? So um, now, now, there is vectors in extension one and extension two. And even though we don't introduce in New South Wales the language of, of matrices, we do show them basically single column matrices that are, you know, the direction vectors, position vectors, and so on. You know, we even talk about the dot product, and they say like, well, the dot product, what other kind of product is there? And we don't tell them that there's a cross product because that's something which comes in union, right? Now, there are parts of university level maths that do connect a little bit, like they're on the borders, like linear algebra, but the vast majority of it is not. So it feels quite like, why am I learning all this stuff then, right? Now, I would suggest the main reason is to put you back in the position of learning really difficult mathematics, right? The vast majority of you who are becoming high school math teachers, you're here because you did pretty well in high school maths, right? Which, can you see, actually creates an enormous problem for you when you go back to teach that maths because you're gonna teach 80 to 90% of students who are not like you. They are struggling to learn this stuff that you found pretty comfortable, right? And so putting you in the position, like pushing you to that place where it's like, I really don't get this. I hope that I get the 50% to pass this exam, right? There is so much importance in the mathematics teacher having empathy with their mathematics students. I feel perhaps more than most other subjects where empathy is like, how important is it that, you know, say for example, when I, I talk to my colleagues who are music teachers, right? Music teachers play lots of musical instruments, right? But most of them are only expert at one or two. But they have to help students who play a completely different range, right? So empathy there is, is kind of different. I, I'm sure they would say there is an element of it, but for mathematics, we need to be intimate with the feeling of productive struggle that our students have when you are beating your head against the wall trying to solve a problem and the answer's just not emerging, right? That's the place you are going to place your students every single day. So remember what that feels like, right? Um, remember what the, in the, in the literature we would call it, the early knowledge acquisition phase, which is a very fancy way of saying when you've got no clue what's going on. You don't even know what the notation or the, the terminology means, let alone how to solve problems in that, right? You have to remember that. And so in fact, I'm gonna answer a question that hasn't been asked here, but it's kind of implied, which is that, you have to keep doing that. You have to keep putting yourself in the position of learning new things so that you remember what it's like for your students every day to be learning new things. Not just learning one subject, by the way. I often talk about the year 11 and 12 students. They're kind of like, do you know what a pentathlon is? Or a decathlon? It's like all these ridiculously different events, right? It's running, swimming, cycling, long jump, shooting, archery, like it's all these random things. And this is what students normally do for their HSC. And so they have to learn all these different things and juggling all of those is, is hard, right? And so the actual content of your university level maths, I'd probably suggest is mostly irrelevant. But the actual experience of being a learner, it couldn't be more important. It couldn't be more central to who you are as a teacher to be able to connect with your students.